So in the past couple of years, smartphone manufacturers have stopped shipping power bricks in their flagship phones like this Samsung S23. You can see this S20, which was three years ago, was the last flagship phone, at least for Android, to come with a pretty decent 25 watt power brick, which would charge it at the full capacity because you know these phones are pretty big, 4,000 milliamps. You definitely want a fast charger. And it's just annoying because you have to go out and spend more money and waste more packaging and more and more environmental resources. So anyways, this is the reality that we live in. Thankfully, we have some really good inexpensive options that are really, really fast. They charge, this one charged around 60 to 65 watts and this one is at 30 watts. I actually went out and bought a tester to see how fast and make sure that they are claiming the specs that they put on the box that they charge at you know whatever wattage they advertise. So we're gonna test it out. And by the way, I really hate this Apple charger. It is way too big for what it does. So I can't wait to get rid of it. Let's take a moment to understand what GAN3 technology is and why it's beneficial. In simple terms, GAN3 technology or gallium nitrate replaces the traditional silicone found in components like these basic bricks with gallium nitrate components. So in summary, GAN3 technology brings a lot of value by offering faster, more compact, energy efficient, cooler running chargers compared to the traditional chargers. So this one comes in a pack of two, which is really good value. And I'm really, really liking that so far. And the first of all, I have to say, this is really light and compact. I'm very impressed with it. I, I think this is gonna be the perfect travel companion. See, the thing is, sometimes when you go traveling, all you want is something really light in your carry-on. You don't wanna bring a bunch of power bricks. And I really like the fact that it has USB-C and USB-A. That is so important for it. This is basically two in one. So not only can it charge two devices, if you just have that annoying compatibility, for example, you just need to use a USB-C to USB-C or USB-A. It's just nice to have that option. So another really nice thing about this is that it flips out. So it's super compact. That's a nice flick. Yeah, this is going to be a lot better than the actual charger you get, for example, in the, let's say the Samsung S. Let's say you get the charger from the Samsung S20. It's just, it's a really big bulky one. It only does 25 watts. It only has a USB-C and it has this, the prongs always protrude out. So it's not super compact. This is way, way more lighter and a lot smaller. So I really like this one versus the one that's in here. They say it weighs 54 grams. So let's double check that. Okay, so they it's, it's correct, 54 grams. And the thing when you're traveling, you don't really need more than 30 watts unless you're bringing a laptop. If you're bringing a laptop, yeah, okay, you know, bring your 65 watt charger, but it really depends on what type of laptop. For example, on my MacBook Pro 16 inch, I can get away with a 60 watt charger, something that, that small. So you get a really nice compact. Now, obviously it's not gonna charge as fast as like one of the bigger default, like 60, uh, 95 watt or 100 watt charger that you get here, but this thing weighs like a brick and it's really gonna weigh you down when you travel. So you want something really small and compact. 30 watt chargers could be a stretch for a MacBook Pro, but for a 13 inch MacBook Pro or MacBook Air, 30, 30 watts is probably gonna be more than fine. So, you know, the, the new M1 chips and the M2 chips are super power, power efficient. So today we're gonna run a little experiment. Instead of using this really large 140 watt power brick for my M1 Pro 16 inch MacBook, I'm gonna use this 30 watt charger and see if I can run a full charge and just work out on my laptop all day. Because it would be amazing if I didn't have to carry that large brick and just carry this tiny one. So let's plug it in and let's try it out. Right now, currently the MacBook is at 54% and we'll see if it can actually charge and still be used. I know the MacBooks are very power efficient and they don't usually draw more than 30 watts of power like this power brick. So it might just keep it at 54%. But with an Intel, this is literally, this would be impossible. It would draw a lot more power and you would just, you would run out of power within the next hour or so and you wouldn't even charge your device. But let's see how we can combine this tiny one for a great travel experience. All right, so it's plugged in. So right now you can see the battery usage. We're charging at 56% and we'll see how this goes. So it started around 50 feet, half full. So now that I plugged in the 30 watt volt meter charger directly into the M1 Pro, you can see that it's charging at a full 30 watts and it's already going up, it's at 60%. So this, is, this looks very promising. All right, so this is absolutely insane it fully charged to 100% in a relatively short amount of time. And I've been using this M1 Pro for a long time. I've been coding on it, doing like Zoom meetings and stuff like that. So I've been really hitting uh, the, the computer pretty hard. And this 30 watt little charger is just killing it. It's, I mean, look at that. I'm touching it. It's not warm at all. So this tiny little 30 watt charger can fully keep my M1 Pro working totally fine 
so yeah, it's, it's actually quite viable to just bring this little charger and you obviously have it plugged in when you're working, but you're going to get 100% battery. And we all know that the M1 Pros last forever. So I, I'm in, truly impressed by this. Th th this is 30 watt charging is all you need for an M1 Pro if you're just sitting at home. And another nice thing with these chargers is that they're really good for tablets. This tablet over here, the Samsung Tab S8, it's a little 11 inch. It has a pretty big battery. I think it's 8,000 milliamps. So if you're gonna charge it with, let's say a 10 watt or even a five watt charger, it's gonna take around four to six hours. But this 30 watts, you know, it's gonna take maybe two hours, three hours. So it's not that bad. So you definitely want to bring something faster than 20 watts. And a lot of the chargers we got from the early, like maybe the 2018s, like our previous phones that we probably sold, those charge probably anywhere from 10 to 15 watt. It's very rare to get like a 25 watt. They would always sell that or upsell it or sell it on the flagship phones like the S20 and it would be 25 watts or 20 watts. This is 30 watts, so, and you, and you get two of them. So let's open the bigger one, the 65 watt. This is the one that I'm more excited about. Like I said, I've been charging my MacBook Pro, the power hungry Intel version, 2019, uh, i9 processor with a 60 watt charger. So I think 65 watts, that extra five watts is gonna help a little bit. And yeah, I'm really excited to use this for traveling because it's nice to have a couple extra in the house. Okay, now this is really small and compact. I like it already. So in terms of the size, or if I guess we wanna compare it to the Apple with only one USB-C, can see much big difference this is going to be huge almost 300 grams like that's a brick you can almost hurt someone with this so i'm really excited about this i've been using a similar one and it's been so convenient to be able to charge two devices maybe even three devices all really fast and you don't, you don't have to just use this for a laptop you can use it for charging your your tablet your phone and maybe your watch and it's just very very convenient and i know this form factor will fit perfectly in your ports side by side so another aspect of voltmeter chargers that deserves praise is their compatibility with a wide range of devices. And this is especially important for low power devices. So I've encountered issues in the past with some chargers not being able to actually charge lower power devices, such as a fitness band or a smartwatch or whatever, use, using the USB-A port. Thankfully, voltmeter has addressed this issue and their chargers do not suffer from the same problem. Another key aspect of voltmeter's chargers is their focus on safety and reliability. Unlike many of the cheap chargers on the market, the VoltMe charger do not emit any annoying buzzing noise during operation. They also come with built-in safety features. So for the first safety feature, it's called V-Dynamic 3.0, and both these chargers come with it. So what is V-Dynamic 3.0? Well, what it does is that it figures out what device is plugged in, and it sends just the right amount of power to charge it super fast without frying your gadget circuits, which is pretty smart. The other safety feature is that it's compliant with UL623681, a safety standard that ensures that these chargers meet the specific requirements for electrical and fire safety. Additionally, the GAN3 technology used in the VoltMe chargers allow them to run cooler, reducing the risk of overheating and increasing the longevity of both the charger and the connected device. Overall, the VoltMe charger offer a safe and reliable charging experience that sets them apart from the other options on the market. So I put both these chargers to the test using a special tool to confirm their charging speeds. And sure enough, they delivered the promised 30 and 65 watt output. Now it's essential to understand that phone chargers don't charge at the maximum speed constantly. The highest charging rate occurs when the battery is near 0%. As the battery approaches 100%, the charging speed slows down to prevent overheating. This is not a flaw of the charger, but rather the nature of lithium ion batteries in phones. So keep that in mind when your charging speeds will vary depending on the battery level. But rest assured, VoltMe chargers provide optimal charging performance throughout the entire process. So in conclusion, VoltMe's GAN3 chargers are a game changer. Both the 30 watt and the Revo 65 offer incredible charging speeds, universal compatibility, and really compact designs. With the latest GAN3 technology, these chargers provide safer, more energy efficient, cooler charging experiences compared to traditional chargers. If you're in the market for a new charger, consider VoltMe's products and give it a try. Anyways, that's it for this video. If you do have any questions, please leave a like and a comment and I'll leave links in the description to these products. See you in the next video.